page 38, everywhere you look. 4-4 four, four time, not a lot of 4-4 four, four times in this book. Three flats in this one, we are in the key of E flat major. So make sure you can do the scale for E flat major. And it wouldn't hurt you to go ahead and do the scale for C minor because it also has three flats. I have videos on them, you can go cover it in the video. Let's just check notes and all. Uh, Rhythm-wise, a bunch of eighth notes, hopefully, but there's some tied notes that may cause problems. So at the beginning, that are one five. I like to do a one four. You can do a one five if you want. That's a G and an E flat for it starting off. One two three four one. Then the G flat. Hold that down. You got two voices. One two two three four, and then measure five. One and two. Now you don't hold these bottom notes. Don't hold it. They're eighth notes. Oh goody! Here we go. Out very carefully. Measure five. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Let's take out the ties and just play all the notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. There. And if you can get that, then you just put the ties in. You hang on to the notes. One and Measure 12. 1 and 2 and 3. Bring the second finger. Now 4 and 1 and 2. Going on, uh, this is measure 14. Pick up to measure 15. You're here. 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and three. The rest come down. That's an octave. And we got two four snuck in there. Well, isn't that sweet? Tricky. Measure 16. You're here. One and two and three and four. Before you have a rest, you come up and then down. And one and two and three and four and one and two and two four time stuck in there, but the beat stays the same. Y'all, you're just counting to two instead of four. One and two and one and two and three and four and. And you think, what's the point? Well, it throws the rhythm off a little bit. It adds syncopation. It's another way of adding syncopation to music. It throws, because every measure has natural accents and the first beat of a measure is the strongest. And that, we're throwing that off. So instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four. You get these syncopations in here, and that's really all it's doing. Major 22. One and two and three, G flat, and then three, two, one. Here, major 24, come up. One and two. Here it's not too bad being up in here because by the time you play this note, you can slide out here. It's fun. At the end, B flat, E flat, you can do that. Left hand, one and two, because I can move up there. One and two and three. One and three. And second finger, that way you're ready for here. One and two and one is here. Use four here and then thumb. You need the thumb on the F, is what it is. So one and two, three, four. This way you're in position for all these half notes because you got it all the way down to a B flat. Then measure seven, one and two and three, or fourth finger, one and two. Which fingering you're using again is up to you and how big your hands are and so forth. The fingering in the book is fine. Use that if you can. Bottom of page 39, the last two measures were here. One and two, all black keys. Here. Now, if 
you don't want to be up in here and do that, then you got to do that. That's fine. Second finger and thumb. That's fine. One and two and three and. And then you can use five or four, whichever finger is handy. And then E flat, B flat. Put the hands together. One and two and three and four and one and two. Keeping up with this mess uh, very carefully, starting at major five, where they're together, half notes. You see these play together, that's fine. And these play together, no, they don't. This first and then that. So again, and then here, see, one and two and three. So again, one and two and three and four and one and two and three. One. So you get lots of practice at it. It's just tricky. Measure 16. One and two and three and four. You come up on four in the right hand. It's a rest. One and two and three and four and one and two and one and two and three and one. And you just work it out really, really slowly and carefully and mechanically, and it won't sound very good. It doesn't matter. You're just trying to get when did each hand play a note, and then once you have a handle on that, you can go over it a few hundred times, and slowly you you speed it up. One, two, three, four. One, two. Measure 19, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. This just sounds weird. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. So forth. You go through and work out this rhythm. It's just a barrel of fun, don't you know? But it's a good challenge. This is the kind of, if you can get this kind of rhythm and work it out yourself without somebody having to just play it for you first, you're really beginning to get a grasp of getting rhythms on your own. Then you go over and over and over and over and get rid of the hesitations. You don't need to go s s fast. You take it slow, but eventually it's got to be a steady beat. Then we can go back and think about the articulation. We've got accents and staccatos and slurs. Accents and a staccato. Nice light wrist staccato. And connect these. And connect this as best you can. You got slurs in the right hand, that's fine. Add in the slurs and staccatos. You can get those, I'm sure. The dynamic, well, it applies to the melody, and that's the right hand. It's the top note in the right hand if you can, otherwise, it's the right hand. Start out at moderately loud, which makes that accent note loud. You can actually do both hands there. Then a major four, you're going to get crescendo up. You start with moderately soft here in the left hand, because the left hand's been in the background. Bring it up to moderately loud. I would play that moderately loud. Then. And then loud for the right hand. So. And 
you're staying more or less loud, you can get a little louder and softer as you feel it. I don't think I'd want to stay exactly that until you get to measure 40 or pick up to measure 50. Come down a little bit. Then measure 20, you're back up to loud. One, two, three, four. And that puts the axe in the notes up very loud. in the notes very loud. And now at measure 25 you can bring the the song is over on the do ba da ba ba da thingy but whatever that is. And this is just a restatement of it. Sort of in its own way. So it can be loud too. The accent and notes in are very loud. Now speed, well they say a moderate swing tempo. And the key word there is swing. When I see that, I'm going to play this in a swing style. That means um, the counting is going to be swung. So it's not going to be one and two and three and like we've been doing. Now it's going to be one and two and three and four. And. Well that slows you down a little bit because you can't go one, two, three, four and the short notes are too short. That's, that's gonna, so that's going to pretty much dictate your tempo. One and two and three and four and one and two and... That, that kind of one and two throughout the whole thing. And since we're only swinging eight notes in the counting, one and two and three, and then that, that's all we swing is the eight notes. They have a note at the bottom saying you can play them long and short. But the fact that it says swing tempo to me is all I need. I don't need a note at the bottom. I'm going to do it anyway. If they do a swing tempo, I'm doing it in swing. 